Hello YouTubers, it's Bill. And I'm going to be buying the food today, the ingredients for the Lancaster Hot Pot. A Lancaster Hot Pot is, a, is basically a beef or lamb stew made with root vegetables and it's typically served in the winter. Well, root vegetables. Root vegetables. Those are vegetables that grow on the roots of plants, like a carrot or turnip, parsnip, potato. Not a leek. Fashion question. Am I too old to have a hoodie? Okay, I found the parsnips and the turnips. I just don't know how many I should get. I'm gonna... yeah, this is Margie. Margie has advice for me about the root stew. Don't put the vegetables in until the later part, right? Because otherwise it'll be all mushy and vegetable. They'll and all, they taste, all the taste the same. The same. Which we don't want. We want individual flavors. So the meat goes in for hours and hours, and the vegetables later. Very right? good. All right. Sounds good. That's a plan. So I think, what would Alton Brown do? Alton Brown would probably diagram this whole thing out. So here's the basic concept. You have a Dutch oven, which is this heavy cast iron pot. A layer of onions on the bottom. After you brown the beef, you put the beef on top of the onions. The root vegetables go in at when there's about an hour to go, hour and a half maybe. And then for the last half hour, you put a layer of mashed potatoes on top. And um, first I'm going to heat the Dutch oven. We use peanut oil for the searing because peanut oil has a high smoke temperature. We'll use lots of pepper and lots of salt. This is a piece of meat that's going to need a lot of flavor. We'll use kosher salt and lots of it. Because this is a hot pot and we're going to be serving it um, from the cooking pot, I'm chopping up the chunks of meat into something like portion sizes. These will brown on all sides and then we'll roast them. You want to preheat your oven to 300 degrees because we want to cook this at a low temperature. Here's the thing, I'm pretty sure no one's going to like the parsnips or the turnips, but I'm going to leave them in large enough chunks so we can find them later. So the meat has been browned, it's been seared actually, and now the pan is warming up. It is my opinion that onions are an essential root vegetable for any winter dish. I put in my secret ingredient, which I'm not going to reveal, and then put the lid on. Next, in, into the oven it goes at 300 degrees for several hours. For the top of the Lancaster hot pot, we're going to have mashed potatoes. So these potatoes have uh, been mostly peeled and have been cooked for 15 minutes. The potatoes are coarsely mash mashed and I'll, I'll melt some butter in there. I'll probably add some half and half too. So if I had like a bow and arrow or something, could have venison instead of beef for the Lancaster pot pie. These are deer in my backyard. Okay, so it's been like uh, an hour and a half or two hours. It's been, it's been a long time. What I'm going to do now is take out the, uh, the Dutch oven. And we're going to put it over here. I'm going to add to it the root vegetables, which I've prepared in advance. So this is our beef. The beef has been uh, braising, I guess. It's been simmering in its own uh, juices, some wine and onions. For like These are the root vegetables. And here I have carrots, onions, leeks, parsnips, and turnips. I'm gonna put all that in, put the lid back on it, and put it back in the oven for at least an hour. Okay, one more hour. The reason that you wait the reason you wait for the vegetables to go in now is they will cook, but they'll also end up having a flavor of their own. It won't be just one mash of a <coughs> mishmash of vegetables that all taste the same. Okay, we're ready for part three. Part three is take the Dutch oven out and we'll put it over here. Then we're going to flip, flip the lid on it and our, our, uh, our stew is ready. So. Okay, we're going to sprinkle some peas on top of the of the root vegetables, which are now cooked, but not all um, not all blended together. Then we're going to take the mashed potatoes and create a mashed potato crown on top of all of this. And this is our it's our Lancaster pot hot pot. Lancaster hot pots come from Lancaster, which is in the northwest of England. So it's kind of an interesting looking. Uh, deal, isn't it? It's kind of like a shepherd's pie, maybe? Uh -huh. But, 
we'll let this PB crank up and get some heat on it. We eat in about a half an hour. All right. Excellent. Now let's take a look in the oven and see how it looks. What do you think? I don't know. The refrigerator's look like a hash brown. Yeah, I think it does look like hash browns on top. I think it plays the exact desired effect. Right, let's go to the table with this. Ready? Good job. It did. It's so awesome. Good job, good job, good job. All right, this is experimental dinner. Experimental dinner. We've never had a Lancaster hot pot before, uh, but we're going to try it today. Let's hope everybody likes it. Thanks for watching the video. That is a heck of a lot of food. Eric, the idea behind a Lancaster hot pot is to make something that you could put in the oven all day, and it would, uh, when you got home from work or wherever you were, it would be on your on your plate, be ready to cook it, serve up, and it would be delicious. All right. Can I just have a little more beef? Sure. There's plenty of beef at the bottom. I said yeah. So no, I wasn't really expecting company, but we do have quite quite a lot. Uh, four plates have been served, and it's not even half gone. But it's a lot like a shepherd's pie, but large chunks of beef, large chunks of root vegetables, and mashed potatoes on top. Would you say this is half full or half empty? Oh, that's a great one. Uh, what would you say? I would say half full. How about you, Alex? It's not even halfway. <laughs> not even halfway. There you go. Not even half empty. That's my life. Half full, half empty, not even half empty.